Okay, hello friends. You know, the last time we uh, met met up, we uh, talked about this particular camera and some Kodak, expired Kodak film I'd shot in it. Went over the um, exposure meter, which isn't on here today, and then printed some prints using some Canon paper on my Canon Pixma Pro printer, some four by six prints, which turned out pretty good. Um, since then, I've put another roll of film in here. We put some Kodak Gold that was long expired, probably from the 1990s. And I went out one evening and part of one day, took some, folk, took some pictures around um, downtown Nashville. And, but this time, when I brought them back, we printed with a little bit different um, printer. So we've got a Canon Selfie CP1300. Um, this is kind of a nice little printer. It's a um, die sub sublimation, excuse me, I believe that's how you say that, die sublimation printer, meaning that it doesn't use ink. It has a film that has color on it and then the um, print is the papers ran through the color to uh, more than once to kind of build up the picture um, i'll try to put a um, insert here of this printer printing a picture out at some point so you can kind of see what it, what i'm talking about here but it's really an interesting process really kind of cool so um and again i like i really think that it's important to take your prints out and type them printed and here's why um, so you know, this again, this is some expired film, at least 20 years expired, uh, taken at night, you know, without a flash. So all these pictures are, and so you, you can kind of get an idea of what's going on here. So there's always, this, you know, the cut, the um, cast, and then I, the neon, you know, that kind of thing. I did have my um, developer, uh, did put a note saying that I underexposed these because I, because I just couldn't, easily handhold that the speeds that it was metering at. So basically I shot one stop under uh, what I should have shot and then when I had it de had the pictures developed I um, put a note to my developer and said hey this um, could you push this one stop to, um, to cover for the fact that I didn't expose as long as I should have. Which they did and I think these turned out you know like all of these prints were um, straight from the camera, no editing this time, and I think you can see we've, we've got some pretty good, you know, some some interesting looks here. So we've got this little palm reader, a um, sad, forlorn um, <laughs> um, mechanical bull, and kind of taking through the picture from the outside. I was actually outside the building, took the picture through the inside, through a window on the in, on the outside end of the building that was closed. It's just the light shining on this electric, you know, on this mechanical bull. Um, again, you know, another shot from outside of someone on stage. And I kind of like the whole aspect here. You know, like the outside is, you know, the red and the the um, kind of shaded there. And then you've got, you know, the light shining on the person who's actually on stage. And they seem to be kind of, you know, casting light where everything else is in the dark. Um, and I kind of felt bad for this poor guy. There was like literally nobody but me and him out and I wasn't hungry. So he didn't make any cells that night, best I can tell. And a little daytime shot, so it was daylight when I started on this little walk. And so I took this picture from a building across the street called the Americana Apartments. So I kind of dig the front porch, or the front overhang there on it porch. <laughs> I tell I'm from the south, right? Everything's a porch. And you can kind of see it's getting a little darker here. Took this um, around behind a um, bar, you know, their ice, uh, their little ice maker and then the whole chair and everything. But it was, you know, sunlight's fading. You can kind of see that and everything's got a blue cast. Kind of thought it was pretty cool. And then here I kind of moved on from downtown and um, got a, you know, nice little shot of the this, whisk, this um, liquor store, apparently, that only sells whiskey. Or at very least, they specialize in whiskey. I kind of like to imagine that you go in and there's no whiskey. So <laughs> that, that would be what I'd like to see. And I kind of like these neon, these neon shots, especially with this old, old film. And then there's another one. I was too far away to really get it in good focus. And, and again, I was, you know, underexposing everything, at like right at the limits of what you could handhold. And, you know, get a get a good shot, as good as I can make a shot, right? And just another, you know, some more neon. And I came across this scene. I couldn't really get 
far enough away to get everything in. Maybe I should have panned down a little bit and left some of the um, fan out, but I kind of dig the whole someone set up a um, a den in an alley somewhere. So, you know, there's it's kind of that. Um, and this right here is, without a doubt, my favorite place to take pictures, just about right now at least. It's a um, parking garage kind of across the street from my building. Rarely ever anyone parked in it, and I'm just kind of waiting for that one shot where I can get that look that looks like something out of a 70s spy movie. It's kind of what I'm going for here. Maybe someday there'll just be someone walking across, you know, wearing a trench coat or something, carrying a briefcase when I come through. Um, and this is this this shot here was actually taken with my um, Leica SL instead of the film camera. So this is a digital shot to give you some idea of kind of the, you know the the difference. So there's you can kind of see the two here. You know you've got you can kind of you can see the grains in the film shot, but not too bad. That kind of gives it gives gives it its look. And then this shot with the sunflowers it's taken from above, you know and um, it just kind of has a nice little look to it. it. It could be lit better, but, you know, we're working on that. And then this is kind of like the quintessential, you know, picture of my, um, oh, would you say my style, right? An alley of garbage cans. I don't know if that's like a commentary on, my, on me or on just the things I like, but um, <laughs> so there it is, right? <laughs> so um, I, I thank you for taking the time to look at these. And... I think it turned out pretty well. Right now, the camera has um, some 400 speed Fuji um, Extra in it. That's again something that was long expired. Where when I get that roll taken, I'll probably do another print a different way. I have another printer or a different kind of paper to put through the um, Canon Pixma Pro printer. We'll see how that turns out. Maybe do something on some odd paper. But the uh, next. The next um, video will actually include some um, from a different kind of camera. So I recently purchased a, um, a different camera. I'm going to just leave it at that. And I plan on using it. I'm actually in the process right now of taking pictures with it. Once I get that roll developed, we'll make a print, a different style of print, if any of them turn out good enough to make a print with. And... We'll see how it turns out. So again, if you made it this far, I really appreciate it. You know, click the uh, like, subscribe, whatever, at the bottom, whatever you want to do. Make a comment. Correct me if I'm wrong about something. You know, however, and I guess you know until we uh, meet again later days, everybody.